What's up, everybody? Grey Zone Warfare just launched, or just put out their first patch, a uh, major patch for the game. Other, this isn't a hot fix, this is a big old patch. We're just going to go over some of the things real quick and see what all else they might have snuck in. So the patch notes are pretty lengthy here with just a bunch of fixes. Uh, and we don't need to go over all of them a lot, but there's a lot of fixing and some of these things I never really even noticed, but there is a lot of them, including the uh, if squad invitation pop-up didn't appear after adding a friend. Uh, the squad member status wasn't displayed properly. Some of these things have been added. And then uh, only one item appeared in a vendor stock. That would suck. I've never seen that one before. But there's a whole bunch here that have been added in. And uh, I did see one here. So dead bodies would sometimes sink below the ground. I think that might have been an issue with people dying and not being able to find their gear. So now they can find it, uh, if that is the case. And then an issue that blocked the pro uh, progression of Quest of Art of Deception and it's in the water. So that's been fixed. And I knew they did change. And they did some changes here. It was reducing hitches when they're flying the helicopter. That's, but that was a major issue. And then uh, they, they now rebind a whole bunch of things here. So this was a big... Well, that was a big issue for me, which is a lack of rebinds. So now we can be rebinding things. It looks like they improved their shotgun slug damage. <laughs> that gun might be useful now. And then there's just a bunch of other things here that they added up. So that's pretty good for it's good launching into the right direction here as long as getting patches. Now, now where's the optimization? That's what I would like to know. So we can just go down here and we'll go into the game real quick and just see exactly what they might have actually changed up. First, let me turn some volume down. Okay, so it definitely looks like you can change your voice, your push to talk. You can change that key bind now, so that was good. Uh, mine's always been Z, so I'm just going to leave it at Z. And then the other thing I wanted to look for was the map, because that was kind of obnoxious. So cool, it's an M. So that is perfect. So you can change this now. Uh, very good. And you can do the health panel as well. So these are good things to have be able to change. And be able to keybind that weren't necessarily around for the first couple weeks. Awesome. Let's just jump into a game real quick because I did see that you could change. Uh, they added, maybe they added some items to the shop. All right, we're in game. So just gonna check the vendors real quick, and I know that they did add this mask, which is pretty cool. And I think they just wanted to have that in the beginning of the the game and they didn't forgot to add it so they just snuck it in there and then i did check all the other vendors and i don't see anything standing out that looks new so that's that nothing new with her and i have all the vendors maxed out so i would pretty much notice and there's no new tasks or anything so we just have to wait for another content update if we want something like that to come out of the bar Nope, so nothing new there, and that's about it. So hopefully the next patch we can get some optimization because that's what the game desperately needs. And they need more optimization than they need any content. But that covers it for the Great Zone Warfare Patch 1. I'll catch you guys later for the next time. Bye.